Cattle herders react to the ban on open grazing in southern Nigeria, with various media reporting different things. On the breakfast this morning, we'll be talking to the National Secretary of the Mieti Ala Cattle Breeders Association of Nigeria to get a national perspective. And which side would Nigeria support in the renewed violence between Israel and Palestine? Turkey wants Nigeria to back Palestine, but we have so far chosen to remain neutral. We'll be talking about this. Also coming up, Asisa Toshola becomes the first African to win the UEFA Women's Champions League. That's a first on our top trending stories this morning. Glad to have you here on The Breakfast this beautiful Monday morning. Thank you for joining us and for waking up with us. We hope you had a beautiful weekend. Good morning. Good morning, Aneta. Yes, good morning and good morning to you. Thank you very much for making, uh, joining us this morning on The Breakfast. Today is a beautiful day, the 7th inch of May. The month is slowly coming to a wrap, isn't it? Uh, we, might, we might as well just, you know, start looking forward to June, actually. Uh, uh, we have uh, barely two weeks to say goodbye yes. to the month of May. So, um, June, you know, start preparing yourself for the second quarter of the year um, already. Uh, it's almost uh, almost over. But hey, we have a week to go, uh, of course, uh, to lead you through on the breakfast. So let's get into some of the major stories making headlines across uh, Nigeria today. Actually, top trend mm -hmm. stories <laughs> that we're talking about today. Congratulations. So there's many, 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 you know, things I would like to say about, you know, this whole Asisa Oshola, um, um, you know, um, celebration. So first of all, congratulations to her. She's uh, the first African to win the UEFA Champion, uh, Champions League, uh, female uh, you have a Champions League. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's also a good opportunity to uh, laugh at Chelsea one more time. Um, but <laughs> Barcelona, of course, beat uh, Chelsea 4-0 to lift the trophy <laughs> for the weekend. And uh, we're celebrating with Asisat, but at the same time, also laughing a little bit at Chelsea this morning. Uh, she, of course, uh, who was just recovering from uh, injury, was a second-half substitute and has been tipped to be named African Player of the Year for a record fifth time. Wow. Yeah. Like she's the definition of goals. When we talk about goals, as I said, Shala is somebody you should definitely look out for. And it doesn't matter. I mean, you don't have to be in football. It doesn't matter what field you're in. The fact that we're seeing a young African, a young Nigerian female thriving, I think that's just enough goal. You should put pictures of Asisa Oshawala on your mirror every morning and say, I want to attain the level of success that someone has in her field. And this is what happens when you give people the support and the freedom to actually pursue her dreams. I was thinking to myself this morning that imagine if she never had supportive parents or if she never had, you know, people who told her, yes, you love, you love sports. You can actually take this to the next level. Imagine if she didn't have that support system, you know, where would she be today? Maybe somewhere else doing something very unfulfilling, yeah. grumbling about it every day and wishing her life was better. So that's why it's fantastic to pursue your dreams. And it reminds me of the quote that says, um, when you make your passion, your profession, you never get to work a day in your life. So it's also Absolutely. important that the passion pays you well. And of course, um, you know, a story coming from, you know, a local league here in Nigeria, you know, to playing for one of the biggest football clubs in the world mm -hmm. and getting all the way to, you know, becoming a, um, you know, not just a league winner with Barcelona, but also a Champions League uh, winner with Barcelona. She's playing among some of the, you know, the best. Um, she is, you know, on the, on the highest level, you know, that, you know, you can imagine as for a female footballer. Um, currently, there's others, you know, who are also playing international football, you know, across the con across the world, you know. But her story is, you know, something that everyone, you know, can, you know, tries to relate with, and of course, can would always, you know, want to celebrate um, because of the milestone that she has reached. Yes. Um, and she's still, you know, pretty young. There's still a lot mm -hmm. more of trophies that she can win. There's still a lot more of these um, um, uh, goals, you know, and targets that she can hit. Um, I hope that she does get, you know, named African Football of the Year, female um, African Football of the Year. And, um, you know, we wish her, you know, a whole lot more success. Talking about milestones, let me just uh, reel out a few for you. Asisa Toshuala, um, like we mentioned, she's won the UEFA Champions League, the first African to do so 2021. She won the 2015 BBC Women's Footballer of the Year. Asisa was four, four times African Women's Footballer of the Year, 2014 African Women's Championship Golden Ball. 2016 AWC Golden Ball, 2017 Chinese Women's Super League top scorer. 
She was named um, IFFHS CAF Best Woman Player of the Decade 2011 to 2020, 2014 African Women's Youth Player of the Year. Asisa Oshola won the Golden Boots Golden Ball at 24. She's just she just breaks record everywhere, and that's what Nigerian, Nigerians do. We break records everywhere. Yeah. And uh, talking also about Nigerians in sports, you know, our next uh, conversation concerning Yes, yeah, so let's football. now move from female to male football, where two Nigerians, Wilfred Ndidi and Kelechi Ihenacho, were on the English FA Cup winning side at the weekend. Their club, Leicester City, defeated Chelsea again, 1-0 to lift the trophy. I can hear oh. so many people hissing in the studio. Yeah, but no. anyway, that's not the story this morning. The story is that Kenyans are claiming Indidi. And we started with a tweet from a Kenyan. That's what you're seeing on your screen right now. The tweet says, Wilfred Indidi becomes the first Kenyan to win the FA Cup uh, with the Kenyan flag saying congratulations. Now, you don't realize how funny this is until you actually see that people are taking this very seriously. Go to the comments and you can see just how people are saying, yes, Wolfram Indy, he's actually, you know, he's a, he's a Kenyan. He's from a tribe. And you can see people typing in their Kenyan dialect. I say, oh, and the only thing you can recognize from their, um, the message they put out there is Indy D. And you can guess how much they're claiming Indy D. Someone say, oh, he's my lost long cousin and this and that. Now, just imagine how far they took this joke. Somebody went onto Wikipedia and actually edited the Wikipedia page of Wilfred Ndidi. It now reads, Onye, Onye Wilfred Ndidi is a Nigerian, I beg your pardon, it actually read is a Nigerian football player. But guess what? They went to edit it and his Wikipedia page now reads, Onye Wilfred Ndidi is a Kenyan <laughs> professional player who plays, for the, who plays for the Premier League's um, club, Leicester City, and they put an indigenous Kenyan football club that he plays, allegedly plays for. I mean, I that's what for. you see right there on your screen. I don't know if that's pronounced as Kiamaiko National Team, but he's a Kenyan footballer as far as Kenyan Twitter is concerned. And someone also tweeted that FIFA stole a move for the from them. He's originally a Kenyan. Da, 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 da. I don't know what you think about this. Like, we we'll always encourage you. Let us know your thoughts on Twitter. I mean, it's um, it's all in you know in a you know mode of celebration, you know, and you know being happy for the Africans who have you know won the FA Cup, um, and at the same time just a little banter. You know, it's, it's nothing. Although some people didn't understand that it was just jokes at first, you know, and they started going at each other, but it was all just banter. I, I, I saw the. Uh, the uh, tweet that said, you know, Onye Wilfred Ndidi, in the, in the, and then someone corrected him, you know, by saying uh, Onye belongs to Peace Square, you know, Wilfred Ndidi is Kenya. It's for us. Yeah, that, <laughs> it, it, was, it was just, you know, it was, a, it was um, um, a good way to wrap up the, you know, uh, celebration of um, Kelechi Anacho and yeah. Wilfred Ndidi. Um, beating Chelsea once again, another opportunity to laugh at Chelsea. If you, you know, are, you're, you know, taking, easy with taking the, um, with the you know, breakfast so. this morning, you know, take out a few seconds to laugh at Chelsea as we start off the breakfast show this morning. There's going to be another opportunity to laugh at Chelsea on the 29th of May when they beat them again on the, the Champions League. But we'll wait till then. For now, it's no, just no, a laugh. Don't, don't, don't pull this Chelsea joke too far. Please, I beg you. All right, so that's where we'll cut it a wrap on, on, on uh, the, the, the top trending today. Great news about Asisat Oshuala becoming the first African to win the UEFA. <laughs> I am laughing because our videographer here is all about <laughs> Chelsea and all the bands mm. are is thrown at him. Um, if you're a Chelsea fan, my sincere condolences. You can always um, change your condolences. How do you lose way. twice in a weekend? God, God can do it. There's nothing God cannot do anyway. Let's <laughs> we'll take a break here and join Mr. Tini Kolawole on Off the Press.